Previously on the bill. Jean, I came to this nick with terrible intentions. That's changed now. And you know why? Because I love you. And I know that you love me too. What's the problem, madam? You're all right. My granddaughter has disappeared, completely vanished. She's, she's only four. Sierra Oscar for mate four. I've just been flagged down one direct on Regis Square. Can you send another unit to Kitchener Close? Over. All received. Over. When did you last see her? Um, about, about an hour ago. She was playing in the back garden. She could be lying hurt somewhere. It's all right. It's all right. We'll find her. How good does that look? Still can't quite believe it. Oh, so lovely to see you. Thank you. Oh, if only you were coming back to do a shift. Yeah, well, I blew that one all on my own, didn't oh, I? With a lot of help from Kathy Bradford. All right, dear. Lots happened since you've been away. I really need to talk to you, actually. Bobby! Hello, Jim. It's great to see you. Mind you, Jim. Oh. What's it like to be out? Oh, really strange. Can't get used to getting up when I want, eating when I want. So what are you doing here? I've got an appointment with a super. Maybe he's going to apologise for not supporting you. It's a shame he can't give you your job back. Not much chance of that, eh? I may have been cleared of murder, but I did lie on that witness statement. Come on, let's go inside. Sarah Oscar for mate four. Want to circulate a missing child to all units and surrounding boroughs. The child's name is Tilly Manning. That's Tilly Manning. Icy one female. Blonde hair, brown eyes. She's wearing a pink anorak and hat with blue jeans and white trainers. You better get to it. Yeah. The street crime reduced by 10%, burglary down by 4, which is uh, bang on MPS targets. No, well done, Gov. Yeah, not bad for my first quarter. Big improvement on the last. You believe the ego on it? Yeah, I can. What's happening? I've checked the house in the garden. There's no sign of a little girl. I reckon she must have wandered out through a gate or something. Right, start checking with the neighbours. June. I've told you I love you. Am I ever going to get a response? Uh, this is my husband, Douglas. Oh. Hello, Mr. Manning. I'm Sergeant June Acton from Sunhill. Oh, thank you for coming. I feel terrible. I left Tilly while I did some work on my car. I I'd only gone ten minutes. What time is this? Around one o'clock. He was too busy listening to the news on the radio. I understand that Tilly suffers from seizures. She's fine. As long as she has her medication and, and nothing upsets her. Oh, did she seem upset about anything, Mr Manning? Well, she was singing away to herself, as usual. Daniel would be distraught. Oh, uh, he's our son. We, we'd mind Tilly for him once a week. Right. And Tilly's never gone missing before? Never. She's a timid little thing, really. Uh, I'm going to need a photograph that we can circulate. She's wearing that anorak and hat. We bought them for her. She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. Try not to worry too much. I mean, she might just be hiding somewhere. We've looked everywhere we can think of. Where did you last see her? In the garden on the swing. We got it specially for her. She loves it. And, and PC Kent said that there was a gate somewhere. Oh, yeah, down, down there. Right. Uh, Mitch, apparently there's a gate at the bottom of the garden. Could you check it out? Sarge. Where does it lead to? Regis Lane, the neighbouring road. Right, I'm going to get officers to thoroughly search the entire area. I mean, if Tilly has had a seizure, she might be lying somewhere where we can't see her. But Tilly wouldn't wander down there. She'd be too scared. Mm. What if someone's taken her? They could have dragged her down there, couldn't they? Do you, do you think, think someone's taken her? Look, try not to panic. Abductions are extremely rare. Thanks for coming, Polly. I wasn't sure if you'd have the stomach for this place again. I spent more than ten years of my life here, sir. It's the closest thing I've got to home. We let you down, Polly. No. Kathy Bradford let me down. I was taken in as much as any of you were. Nevertheless, I'm sorry. You were an excellent officer. If I could have you back in post today, I would. 
I appreciate that, sir. Perhaps there's another way. Maybe you could come back in a staff capacity. What do you mean, front desk? I think that might render you a little exposed. I was thinking more along the lines of CAD. How does that sound? Wonderful. Excellent. Thanks, sir. Tilly couldn't have come in here. Douglas would have seen her. 4 eight from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, go ahead, Dean. No report of a child on the incident list. OK, Dean, can you let CID know? Affirmative. Uh, right, Mrs Manning. We're going to have to inform your son. Daniel's bringing Tilly up on his own. His ex-wife is fighting him for custody. But if she finds out about this, she'll only hold it against him. Well, we have to inform Tilly's parents. Four-year-old girl's gone missing from Regis Square. Eva, can you deal with it? Well, if it's a missing child, shouldn't I go? June Ackland's on the scene if Eva can't cope. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Wouldn't they just love that? Oh, take the notice, Eva. You're a good copper. Why don't you just get in a little bit paranoid? No. Kerry, how you doing? Yeah, Come on, how'd you get? Oh, you've been in a lot more trouble when I finished with you. No, we're fine. There you go. Come on. That's better, isn't it? Uh, I've got some photos of a missing kid. All right, how's it looking? Not good, she's been gone for two hours now. Well, we'll be over when we finish, yeah? Kerry. Gee, the super's giving Polly a job in CAD. That's good. And it's perfectly possible that Tilly may just have wandered off. My daughter would not have wandered off. She knows better than that. At the moment, we don't have any other explanation. My ex has taken her. She must have. I don't think even Louise would stoop to this. She knows she hasn't got a cat in hell's chance of getting Tilly any other way. I know. I think you'd better give me Louise's phone number. No, Mr Manning, I think we ought to make the first contact. Listen to her. You don't want to make things worse. How much worse could it get? Daniel, please. Please, Mr Manning, will you give me the phone? Answer oh, phone. Hello, Louise. Uh, this is Sergeant June Ackland. Can you ring me urgently, please, on 0207 642 Thank you. Well, at least if she's with her mother, we know she's all right. Not without her medication. Right, you lot, you continue the house. Oh, no, stop there. Up to the end of the road. Right. Well, you not arrived yet? Oh, Eva, I'm so sorry. It, it's on the list. Oh, I'll do it. Uniform 321. Yeah, go ahead, Uniform 321. Completed search of surrounding streets. No trace. We'll increase the search yeah. area. Received. You OK? Yeah. We thoroughly searched the house and the garden till he's definitely not here, but the father seems to think the mother's taken her. Oh, she has. It's not that urgent, is it? Uh, yeah, except that Tilly's on medication, which is here, and the mother may not know what she needs. How long can Tilly go with that? She needs it twice a day or she's liable to have a seizure, especially if she's distressed. Anything on the mum yet? I've circulated her vehicle details, but there's no sightings yet. All right, what about her workplace? Well, she runs a business consultancy from home. I'm going to go round there as soon as I've updated the troops. OK, great. All right. June. Found anything? Please, can we just sort this out? Just leave me alone. We can still make this work. Smithy, the inspector, they all think you're my son. No, I must tell the truth. We can carry on the secret, just like before. Oh, you really are twisted. No. I know I've completely messed things up, but I want you to understand. I really love you. You let me think that I was your mother. You let me think that I had slept with my own son. That isn't love. That's evil. I want nothing to do with you. Gabriel. <coughs> you help out on ruining June's life. What? Tell her that she was my mother. Look. <coughs> I know this is tough for you, but don't take it out on me. June had a right to know. I wanted to tell her. In my own time, when she was ready. All right. Look, maybe I should have given you the opportunity, but she needed to know. Oi. What's going on? You two should be out looking for this missing kid. I'm on my way, Sarge. Yeah, we'll get on with it then. What's the problem? Take a guess.
None of us meant for this to come out the way it did. So what are you playing at, digging around behind our backs? We wanted to know the truth about who you were. You should have been more honest with us from the start. How did June take the news? Badly. She's angry I haven't told her all this time. Why did you track her down here? I just needed to get to know June before she found out who I really was. I don't know what kind of relationship we can have now. Well, can you still work together? Neither of us want to leave Sunny, or so I'll have to. Well, Inspector Gold and myself will offer you whatever support you need. Oh, thanks, Sarge. And I'd appreciate you keeping a lid on it. For June's sake. Well, nobody's going to know a thing unless you tell them yourselves, all right? Now, go and find this kid, will you? Samantha, I'm off to see Tilly's family. You got anything from the checks? Yeah, I told Eva the grandparents and the parents are squeaky clean. Terry, anything on the sex offences in the area? No recent intelligence come. I've got one offender that fits the profile, but he's in hospital right now. There's got to be more than one. I know that. Let me have a look. What about him? Jeremy Lawrence. I don't think so, Gov. Well, it says he lives in Regis Lane. Jeremy was done for sexual assault on a teenager six years ago. He's been good as gold ever since. Good as gold? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing that Regis Lane is pretty close to Regis Square. It is. But if this man is into teenagers, he's hardly likely to abduct a four-year-old. A little girl has been missing for three hours, Samantha. I don't think we can afford to be too picky. Check him out. Did Louise know that Tilly would be here? She might. She certainly knows we look after her from time to time. How does Tilly feel about her mum? She hardly knows her. So she wouldn't have left here willingly? I doubt it. Then someone must have seen or heard her scream. I mean, surely your dad would have been alerted from the garage. Oh, the world could end when he's tinkering with his car. Mr Manning, surely you must have heard some sort of a struggle. My radio was on. I didn't hear a thing. I only wish I had. Polly, you're still here? The soup has asked me to come back as CAD operator. Hey, that's fantastic. And Dean's getting me up to speed on all the new software. Well, he's a great bloke, you get on well. Yeah, he's made me feel right at home. Polly, you are home. Thanks. Listen, is June going to be all right? Do you know? Well, it's obvious something's going on. I can't believe she's kept it to herself all these years. All that time we were together and she never said a thing. Right. 600 from 48. Go ahead, Sarge. Can you meet me at 5A, River Mill Lane, the missing child's mother's flat? On way. You know, June, she'll be all right, but she'll need her mates. Okay, I just have to drop back the keys when we're finished. Hello? Police! Police, hello? Hello? Well, if Tilly was here, she certainly isn't now. You must be thinking you missed a lot of Gabriel's life. He's gone to extraordinary lengths to find you again, June. You've got a second chance. Yeah, maybe. Isn't that what you want? Uh, this has stirred up a lot of very bad feelings, Jim. Things I never thought I'd have to face again. I don't know what I want now. I thought I didn't want kids. What with my baggage, I convinced myself that I'd make a useless dad. You had a brilliant relationship with Marie's son. Gabriel's older, I know, but he's your son. He's your own flesh and blood. There can't be a stronger bond than that. Give it a chance, June. Otherwise, you'll always regret it. Oh, let's search this flat properly. This is a complete waste of time. Hello, but if it keeps the boss happy. <sighs> Jeremy, DC Perkins, Sunil PPU. Yeah, I remember who you are. Yes, Nixon. How about inviting us in? Look, I come off the register in a few months. No, no, mate, we just want to have a chat. 
Sorry, Gav, you got away. What do you think? Round the back. Round the back. Jeremy! Come on, you're doing yourself no favours here. Clear off, go on, just leave me alone. Jeremy? The little girl's gone missing in the area. We just want to have a look around. What would I want with a little girl? Well, if you're not involved, you've nothing to worry about, have you? Please, just let me get on with my life. Colin, you know the score. At least tell us where you've been today. Been to work. Until what time? I just got back, OK? So go on, just clear off. We can't force our way in. No. Well, there are definitely some gaps in the wardrobe. I can't find a suitcase or a holder or anything. I found this tune. It's a wallet for an airline ticket. Anything? They didn't even know the Mannings had a granddaughter. Great. Hang on. This one up here is this a kid's hat. Oh. Matt, not really pink. It's been there a while. Nice. You were a bit frosty with Cameron earlier. It didn't take three of us to handle a drunk, that's all. Weren't sexual tension then. Stop it. Were well, you two going to get it on or what? As a matter of fact, we did last night, all right? Yeah? <laughs> that's a problem, judging by the smile. He obviously delivers. Yvonne! So? I don't know if it means that we're together now or what. Being frosty is your way of finding out. No, I just... I don't know how to play it, Yvonne, and I really like him and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> What's your take on the family? Um, yeah, well, they're very tense, obviously, and there is no love lost between the father and son, that's really clear. But are they right about the mum snatching her? I think it's a possibility, but unlikely. If a woman wants custody, then it's hardly the most sensible of actions. And also, she hasn't taken Tilly's medication. She knows how much Tilly needs it. Mm. So what are the alternatives? Someone could have coaxed her out of the garden. She could have wandered off, she could have got lost, she could be lying somewhere, I mean... No, the doggy unit would have found her by now. Uh, yeah, well, they're on their way. They're on the way? Do they realise this is a missing child inquiry? Yes, Gov. Uh, I think there was some sort of mix-up or something. Right, well, I think it's time to make use of the media. Tilly kind of just vanished into thin air. Someone out there must know where she is. Okay. We checked with the airline. It appears that Louise was registered on a flight from Edinburgh to London earlier this morning. So she could easily have been here at lunchtime? Possibly, yeah. Now, I think the best course of action is to go to the media, put something out on the local radio. Well, say what? Well, firstly, appealing for sightings of Tilly, and secondly, asking her mother to come forward. Louise isn't very likely to do that, is she? Maybe not, but if Louise has taken Tilly, there's a chance that someone might have seen them together. We don't want everyone knowing our business. I can understand your reluctance, but Tilly has been missing a long time for a girl her age. It'll be going dark shortly. If she's lost somewhere, she'll be terrified. We really need to widen this now. I know that this is horrible to contemplate, but there is a chance that Tilly was snatched from the garden by some sort of opportunist. <gasps> we need to make the public aware of this possibility and inform whoever might be holding Tilly of her need for medication. An appeal is the best way forward, yeah? Okay, cheers, mate. Bye. What's the latest? Jeremy's still a storeman down at the Shipley warehouse, but he's been off sick for a week. That's silly, telling us a porky. We've got to get a walk and get back now. Let's do it. Yeah. Do you really think Tilly's been abducted? Well, it's just a possibility at the moment. I'm sorry about Daniel. He's never had much patience. I take it the two of you don't get on very well. Oh, he's closer to his mother. Are you close to Tilly? I'm not much good with children. It's the noise that gets on my nerves. Is that why you left her out playing with her? When our boys were little, they played out all hours of the day. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, I did too. When I was a child, there was no playtime at all. It was chores, dawn till dusk, but we soon knew about it. Daniel spoils Tilly so rotten. Well, perhaps it's because he wants to make up for the loss of her mum. Tilly should be with her mother, really. It's not natural, a man bringing up a girl on his own, don't you think? D.I. Manson's due to be on local radio now. 
We are continuing to search the immediate area, but my concern now is that Tilly may have been abducted. If anyone has seen Tilly, either on her own or with an adult, I urge them to contact our incident room on this telephone number, 0207 511 0953. I would also ask Tilly's mother, Louise Waters, to come forward. Could have been some that phone number again. Everyone's doing their best. Oh, shut up. You wouldn't care if Louise took Tilly for good. I Come on. Tilly's nothing but an inconvenience to him. He couldn't even look after her for five minutes. For which I should never forgive myself. I've had just about enough of this. Uh, oh. Mr. Manning, where are you going? As far from here as I can get. Mr. Manning, do as Sergeant Ackman says. Gabriel, what are you doing? I'm trying to help you. I can manage perfectly with my own, thank you. Jim? I've got nothing more to say to you. Jim. You're right. What I did to you was sick and cruel. I didn't know what I was doing. I don't want to hear it. You're going to grasp me up? Let everybody know what a fool I've been. I don't <sighs> think so. I meant about using my brother's ID to get into the service. I love this job. I've already lost my parents and now I've lost you. Don't take this away from me as well. How dare you ask me for favours? I need to know. Tough. I'm enjoying watching you sweat. I'm so sorry about Douglas. It's really not like him, obviously. Don't worry about it. We've all got a lot more to worry about than his moods. Could your husband be in contact with Louise? Of course not. That woman broke Daniel's heart. We wouldn't care if we never saw her again. Louise. Where are you? You've got Tilly, haven't you? Daniel. You've taken her. We know you have. Daniel. Don't lie Daniel, to me. Let me speak to her, please. Miss Walters? Yeah, this is DC Sharp. Is Tilly with you? Calm down. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll see you shortly. Where is she? Now, Louise says she's just come out of a meeting and she swears that she hasn't seen Tilly since her last scheduled visit. Could she be lying? She sounds genuinely upset to me. Well, she's got to be lying. Well, she says she's on her way here. If she hasn't got Tilly, then who has? Looks like his car's gone. He's obviously well enough to drive. Right. Knock it down. Please, take upstairs. One in there, one in there. Jeremy? Jeremy? Clear upstairs. Downstairs, clear. He hasn't got kids, has he? Check this with the family. See if it belongs to Tilly. Okay. I don't think it is Tilly's. So many. I can't be sure. What makes you think it is? It was found close by. Lee. Where on earth is Tilly? Miss Waters, I'm D.I. Manson. This is DC Sharp. Have you got her? 
Don't be ridiculous. Nothing would surprise me. I've been in a meeting all afternoon. My client can vouch for me if you want to stoop to that. Come on, Bob. This, this isn't helping. If you haven't taken it yourself, then you've got somebody else to do it for you. Don't be ridiculous! I'll tell you what ridiculous is. Listening to your daughter cry night after night when all she wants is her mum. Come on. You're only making things worse. You know, turning on each other. Look, I know this is hard. But you're going to have to stick together. Yeah? Okay. Louise, can you tell us? Do you recognise this doll? Why? Is it Tilly's? Where was it found, exactly? In a property around the corner. Whose property? Right, we're looking for this man, Jeremy Lawrence. He drives a Silver Mondeo Lima 508 Golf Uniform Lima. Sarge, there's a woman at the front desk. She thinks she saw Tilly being driven away. The bloke opened the passenger door and the little girl climbed inside. Did she seem distressed? Not that I noticed. That's why I didn't think anything of it till I heard the news. So where were you, exactly? Well, I clean a house nearby. What type of car was it? White or silver. Ford, I think. Can you describe the man? Uh, Middle-aged, um, brownish hair. Miss Downing, I'm going to show you some photographs, OK? And I want you to tell us when you see the man. No. No, he's not there. None of those? No. That's him. W. Are you sure? Definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Downing. Does he know the kid? Oh, we can't say at this stage. Looks like a nonce, Danny. I did a terrible, terrible thing leaving Tilly. But no one will let me forget it. Oh, Daniel's frantic with worry. And I'm not. No. I never know where Tilly is. Apart from the odd few hours when Dan's in a generous mood. Well, I'm sure you didn't leave Tilly lightly. We had a terrible marriage. Dan was so insecure and possessive. I ended up falling for someone else to escape him more than anything. I'm sorry. Dan was devastated. I couldn't bear to take Tilly away from him as well. No. I can hardly think of anything else but Tilly. Especially since she became ill. I know it's stupid, but I'm convinced Tilly's condition was brought on by the upset I caused her. Come on, I'm sure that's not true. I know it's cruel to take her away from Daniel now, but I have got to look after her. I'm her mother. She needs her mother. And I couldn't stand it if anything's happened to her. But you a mother. Well, then you'll know how I feel. You've got to find Tilly. Please. Please, you must find Tilly. Hey, Polly, good to see you back. Oh, thanks, mate. Kerry, you go a second. Um, can I help pin Polly? In? Please. Are you okay if I... Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, about last night. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, you think that's as far as we should take it, or...? Well, how far do you want to take it? Well... <laughs> Kerry, I think I've got him. I'm sure this is his car at the recycling place. I'm sure it's him. What is he unloading, Polly? Bit of a breakthrough. Yeah. 
The sex offender identified by the witness has been caught on CCTV unloading a crate at a recycling plant. That doesn't sound so good. Mm. Samantha and Terry are on the way there now. Mm. I'll hold off telling the family for now. Yeah, I'll wait till there's some uh, definite news. Yeah? Okay. Eva, you've done a cracking job here. Keeping them together. Thanks, Carl. you on suspicion of abduction. Oh, no way! You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when question something which you later rely on record. Where's Tilly Manning? I haven't got a clue. Then why lie about where you were this morning? Answer the question, will you? I've told you. I'm off the register in a few months. I don't want any sort of trouble now, do I? Then why not let us check out your place? <laughs> Why are you picking on me? I made one terrible mistake six years ago. I was having a breakdown. I wasn't myself. You know I've done nothing like it since. What's this doing at your place? For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Mr Lawrence exhibit TP1. I've never seen it in my life before. It was found on your settee. This is a setup. You don't have any kids, do you? No. So who's this lot then? For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing Mr. Lawrence exhibit TP2. My nieces. See much of them, do you? Since I got convicted, my family won't let them near me. So why do you need a doll, then? Anything? Not yet, Sarge. Right, can somebody search this area down here, please? A crate could be anywhere. It's got to be quite near the surface because it was only dumped a little while ago. Just keep searching. Sarge. So, tell us what you were really up to this morning, will you? <sighs> Nothing. I'm off sick. Time to get up. About ten. Then what do you do? I made breakfast. Then I watched TV until I heard you lot banging on the door. We got to your place at around four o'clock. Are you telling me? that you watched television between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. today and you didn't do anything else? I've got a bad back. I can't do anything else. What programmes? Good morning. The news. Uh, there's a mail. And uh, this antiques thing, which wasn't very good. Did you go out at all? Only when I went to the recycling place. I was feeling a bit better by then. We have a witness who saw a little girl getting into your car off Regis Square at around 1 o'clock. No way. Not me. The witness has identified you from a photograph. What witness? Sarge! This looks like the crane! Right, get us something to open it with. Come on. Hurry up. Right. Ready? Open the bag. What can I do for you, Valerie? Oh, um, have you got him yet? We have somebody in custody, yeah. So you gonna charge him? Not necessarily. We haven't found any evidence yet. Listen, I appreciate your concern. Thanks for coming down. What about the doll? What doll? Oh, the one in his house. How do you know about that? Jeremy Lawrence is a sick pervert. He'll be out of your control in a few months. Do you realise what you've done? All this time that we've been questioning Mr Lawrence, we could have been out looking for Tilly. I know him. He needs locking up. You have committed a serious offence.
Does the name Valerie Downing mean anything to you? <sighs> She's behind this, yeah? Answer the question. Oh, we went out together for a little while. I owned one of those adverts in the paper. Didn't work out. I'm not good at relationships. Did she know about your past? She found out after. And she's had it in for me ever since. She never did give me back the key to my place. She must have planted that doll. I hope you're gonna do her for this. What were you doing at the recycling plant? Look, my officers are tearing the place apart. You might as well tell us. I've been taking a, a, a few bits and pieces from work. I mean, nothing anyone would miss. <laughs> I don't know what I expect. I mean, it's slave labour down that warehouse. They, they, they pay us nothing. Any news on the ground, Sarge? Please don't ignore me, I can't stand it. Don't worry, we won't have to put up with it for much longer. Right, what do you mean? June! It's getting cold. Tilly will be getting cold. My daughter went missing once. Like this? My own for days. Police trawling through all our dirty washing. Did you find her? Yeah. She'd had an accident. She fell down a hole. The area of a bill's in sight. After a few months, we pretty much got back to normal. But you never forget. Don't give up hope. I just can't understand how Dad would leave Tilly like that. Mm. Well, he's a different generation, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He ruled with an iron fist. Daniel! Oh, come on, Mum. He was a bully tormented us till we were big enough to fight back. Don't be silly. So all the beating, the shouting, the mind games, we imagined it, did we? Douglas had a very stressful job and they were boys, they needed toughening up. Was Douglas ever violent towards Tilly? No, not violent. She's a little girl. Wouldn't hurt a girl, would he? He'd never hurt her. Not Tilly. Okay, where could Douglas be? I've no idea. Has he got a mobile phone? No. Okay. Well, we'll uh, try and track down his car. June! Any news? We've searched the house and the garage again. There is still no sign of her, and we're still trying to track down the grandfather. You're right. I should have searched that property more thoroughly. I should have got that dog unit on site immediately. Come on. We don't even know if the grandfather's involved yet. Let's leave the debrief until the little girl's been found. You OK? What is it? I'll arrange for someone to take you to the station soon. Have you found that? Do you really think Douglas has done something to Tilly? We have no definite news yet, but everything's been done to assist the search. Now, is there anywhere at all that you can think of that Douglas will have gone to? Douglas has done nothing to Tilly. The stress of the day has just been too much, that's all. Mum, please, wake up. You told him, didn't you? I told who? The super. We were talking about the case. Liar. June! Don't you walk away from me! Douglas <laughs> must have done something to Tilly. Why else would he bolt like that? Where is she then? The car was searched, wasn't it? Well, I mean, I checked the doors and the boot. They were both locked, but... We well, had no real reason to search the car at that stage. Sierra Oscar from Uniform 321. Go ahead, 321. 
We're following suspect vehicle traveling north along Cheatham's side. Do you wish us to stop vehicle, over? No. On the instructions of D.R. Manson, do not stop. Keep the vehicle in sight. Cheatham's side? Where's he going? City farm. Douglas says that Tilly loves the city farm. Okay. We found Douglas. Mr. Manning and we found the car, but there's no sign of a girl. We're going to need backup. All received. Is she hurt? I hardly touched her. Just a little push to shut her up. She's dead. She hit her head. <laughs> She's in here. She's still alive. Sierra Oscar from DC Sharp. Ambulance urgently required at Kenley City Farm. Tilly. Received. Tilly, can you squeeze my hand? Tilly? Everything's going to be all right. We found Tilly. Is she all right? She's in a very serious condition. But she'll live. Yeah. The doctors think she was knocked unconscious, which caused her to fit. She wouldn't have a clue where she was. Please, can we go to her? I'll take you to some news. Where's Douglas? Your husband's been arrested. He's admitted to the assault. No. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry, Daniel. I never thought he'd hurt Tilly. Not really. You always stood by him. You always said nothing. Come on now. Let's go and see Tilly. This way. Polly, I was hoping you hadn't gone. I'm so pleased about the job. Yeah, good old Mr. Ocaro, eh? I just know more than you deserve. Yeah, I can't wait to get cracking properly. Listen, are you all right? I've been worried about you all afternoon. Oh. You've got a minute. Yeah. Come in. Oh, this is difficult. There's something I want to tell you because, frankly, I really need some advice. Oh, you're not here, are you? No. Well, come on, what is it? You're scaring me now, June. I really hope you're not going to be offended that I haven't told you this before, but up until recently, I haven't told anybody. When I was 16, I had a baby and I gave him up for adoption. You know, the... The only way I could cope with that was to, was to forget it had ever happened. But every now and again, and especially just recently, I've had this awful longing to know where he is and how he's turned out. Do you mean you want to trace him? I don't know. I think so. Oh, it's such a big step. I mean, he might not know anything about you. I don't know if I could cope with the rejection. Well, some things are just best left as they are. I mean, you've built a good life for yourself now. Yeah, me and the cat. All right, it might be safe. But believe me, June, safe is good. I won't tell anybody. Oh, no, never. Oh, oh. Harry! Fancy going for a drink? Well, that would be making us a habit. Is that a bad thing? No. Hey, we're going to see. So?
Ah, young love, ain't it grand? Life, he knows what he's letting himself in for. What are you on about? Kerry's all right for a blonde bird. Until she doesn't get what she wants. Yeah, well, Cameron's a big boy. I'm sure he can look after himself. That poor little girl. I know. I feel terrible. We should have got to her much sooner. Tell you what, though, Sarge. Do I? He was top man today. Really support with him, in fact. Well, Mr. Manson can say all the right things when it suits. Just don't fall for it, either. I don't know. I think we might have been a bit older than him. Night, Gov. Night. Eva. You really messed up today. What? Your yeah, poor questioning of Douglas Manning caused the team to waste a lot of time and effort. The team? T it was my legwork. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. Night. What was it you were just saying? I still got your spare keys. Get out! Have you or have you not grasped me up? No. Are you going to? If being a decent copper means this much to you, then get out there and prove that you can do it. Otherwise, I will finish you. And for keeping quiet now, I want something in return. What? I want my son's address. Next time on The Bill. He's gunning for you, Gov. This alibi statement didn't just go astray. It was buried. Bury evidence? I wouldn't go that then. Not for my job, not for myself. If you mouth it off to one of my household, you won't. <laughs> <laughs>